Hey, I'm Luke Schellenberg. I'm an ENT doc. So occasionally patients will come in and uh, they will lie and they will say, I can't hear. Oftentimes it's just they've got some reason why they can't hear. Like they say, you know, uh, I was exposed to a, a chemical or I was in a car wreck or um, somebody beat me up uh, and I can't hear anymore. But they'll be lying. They actually can't hear. And so um, this is a pretty lousy thing to do, um, mainly because it doesn't work. We have ways of testing the ears beyond someone putting a sound in your ear and going, I hear that. And that's pretty crazy, but there is a test called an otoacoustic emission that is based on the, uh, the fact that our ears make sound, okay? And so these tiny, tiny cells called the outer hair cells in the inner ear actually make a sound. And so if someone comes in and for example, we do autoacoustic emissions on babies all the time, not because my babies are liars, but because they they they're not developing they're not not developmentally aware enough to say, hey, I'm I'm hearing that sound. No, it's because we want to make sure that we find out if they've got hearing loss or not. Well, pretty quickly after they're born. But the way that we do that is with autoacoustic emissions, and so that's through this little uh, these tiny outer hair cells making a sound. Um, and so that we can also do that for older kids and adults that may not actually be telling the truth. And so next time you're thinking about faking uh, your hearing loss, um, be aware, You'll, you won't get away with it. All right.